Hello, Internet. Going to be playing Altered Beast today for Nintendo. This was originally released as an arcade game by Sega in the late 80s, then it got ported to Nintendo and Sega. The Sega Genesis. Waiting for this cool little cutscene here. Spooky eyes. I don't know why it says Altered Beast, a.k.a. Translations. Okay, so you start the game. It's a game set in ancient Greece. And Zeus resurrects you from death. Rise from your grave. You are a deceased centurion in ancient Greece. Zeus resurrects you to rescue his daughter, Athena, who was kidnapped by the demon Zeph. Or demon god Zeph. You kill these wolves, these white wolves, and get these spirit balls, and they make you stronger. When you get three of them, then you turn into the altered beast. And depending on the level, you turn into different beasts. I mean, this level you turn into a werewolf. You get super overpowered. You shoot fireballs and just fly across the screen on fire. Nothing can touch you. Look how green everything is in the background. This looks like uh, Game Boy. That ugly green. But yeah, you can double jump in this one. I don't think you can in the arcade version. In this version, they actually added a few levels. I think they added three, three new levels. The arcade only has five, and this one has eight. Okay, that's Neff. At the end of each level, he turns into some horrible monster you have to fight. And this one, the monster is called Agar. A-G-G-A-R. Got the info from the Sega Genesis manual on the game. Throws his head at you repeatedly. Just keeps growing back. things representing your lives. It says left down there. On the bottom right of the screen don't look like werewolves. They look like cats. <laughs> That's Neff's head. He takes your power and you have to pursue him. Now this level is not in the arcade version. Level 1, according to the Sega Genesis manual, level 1 is at the Acropolis. I don't know where this is. It just looks like some kind of forest. Forest area. Well, sort of. There's not many trees, but... Ugh. This guy's fast. Trying not to get killed. As you can see down on the bottom right, uh, the lives in this level are lions. Though I believe he, he turns into a lion in this level as the altered beast form. But that doesn't happen in the arcade. There's no... This is not a level... And there's no lion beast in the arcade. White wolf, good for a spirit ball. According to the Sega manual, this form is called Giant Man. Get one spirit ball and you turn into a giant man. Second spirit ball turns you into a Superman. Hard to hit these guys. Look how small his head is compared to his body. His head's like one pixel. <laughs> He's got that speedo. Die bird. Alright, here we go. He is now the altered beast. Which is apparently a lion, but um looks like Bioforce Ape to me. Like a better version of Bioforce Ape. It's Neff. Let's do this thing. Welcome to your doom. That's what he says. Oop. Timing it wrong. He 
you do it right, you can just cheap them to death and hit those as they land on you. Get out of here, Nest. Give me back Athena. I don't know why Zeus can't just get Athena from Neff. That would be pretty lame to be Zeus and have to resurrect a mortal to save your daughter. Okay, now this is uh, this kind of swampy level. This is in the arcade game. It's the second level in the arcade game. These guys jump on your head and do not get off of you. Ugh. Spirit Ball! Get off of me! Ugh. Got it. That was close. I thought it was going to get away. You can double jump really high. Snake things. Those purple things are called chicken stingers. You may recognize them from Golden Axe. Another fantasy style beat em up. The Sega manual says this is actually a cave. I guess it's not a swamp. It says you are now in a cave. You have begun your descent into the underworld. As you can see, this altered beast is a dragon. Welcome to your doom. This boss is called Octize. Just gotta avoid the eyeballs. Whoop, whoop. Pretty sure it's harder in the arcade uh, version. Remember, there's eyeballs like everywhere. You're, they're really hard to kill. Just get bombarded and overwhelmed by eyeballs. See if I can get to the next stage before I get killed here. Come on, nephew, suck. You know you're gonna lose. I'm messing around. That's right, you punk! That's what you get for messing with Zeus. Divine Retribution. Yeah, you better run. Better run, you punk. Walking around in my red boots and speedo. Kick him in the face. Take care of that guy. Oh, when you get uh, buffer, when you turn into the Superman, you lose your boots. Can't even fit into his boots, he's so buff. He just jumped off the cliff. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Oh, I was trying to double jump, the screen pushed me off. But yeah, apparently he can't even fit into his boots when he's this buff. His calves and feet get all meaty. turn into the werebear here. There's Neff. I can't fight him yet because I'm not in my altered beast form. So he just leaves and goes away. He's like, uh, I see you're not ready yet. Come back in a few minutes. See you're still running around in your speedo. I'll just check back. Ugh. Enemies are fond of knocking you down the hole to your death. Here we go. It's werebear time. If I can get it. Double jump. Double jump. Barely got it. It was off screen and I got it. Awesome. Alright, I'm a green werebear. 
come at me. Come at me, bros. Oh, it gave me life. I didn't think it would do anything. Look, how, look at his walk cycle. He looks weird. <laughs> he's like, he's not running, but he's going fast. It looks like he's speed walking. You just watch him do that for like an hour. It looks hilarious. Bam. Where is Neff? Come back, Neff. I will totally fight you now. Give me that. Here he is. Alright, Neff, it's on. Show me what you got. This boss is called Moldy Snail. It's pretty gross. Here's how you avoid this. Pretty sure you're invulnerable when you're in that uh, ball form. Flash white. Whoop, whoop. He does look like a moldy snail. He looks like a moldy lizard thing in a snail shell. Perfect timing. Forever walking. Why is he standing like that? Like, one of his feet look weird. It's like he's standing on his tiptoes, or... Like he hurt his leg? This level was created specially for the Nest Port. It is not in the arcade version. As you can see, it is underwater. Get to fight hammerhead sharks and merfolk. Punch them to death. Get to fight underwater wolves. Huh. Power up. My guy doesn't even care that the level's underwater. He's just gonna walk along the bottom. Walk along the bottom of the sea. He doesn't care about protocol. He does what he wants. Pretty sure the ruins back there are Atlantis. That relates to ancient Greek stuff. The lost city of Atlantis. Altered Beast is a shark. Alright, Neff. Do your worst. Okay. Neff is a Kraken, as you can see. The Kraken. I don't know. You gotta dodge the stuff he fires at you while shooting him. There. I got a big hitbox. You gotta time it just right and make sure you're out of the path, out of the way of the projectile when you fire. Because when you fire, you're immobilized for about half a second. And he can hit you if he hasn't already fired and missed. You can shoot him here where I'm shooting him. Oops. Last life. Or you can shoot him in the eye, but that is much harder because that tentacle is in the way like 95% of the time. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. He's getting dead. Gonna do it. Cannot have Athena Neff. What does Neff want Athena anyway? Can he just meet a girl somewhere or 
Start talking to girls online like a normal person. He's got to kidnap Athena. Alright, that level is beaten. This level is in the arcade game. And according to the Sega manual, this is the Underworld Palace. So we're getting close to the final battle. Those statues, you can't really tell on this version, but those little statues are a rhinoceros. It's like a humanoid rhinoceros. Spirit balls, there's one. Chicken stinger guys are more fun in Golden Axe. You can knock them out and ride them and hit enemies with their tail. I want that guy's hammer. That would be useful. He's so fast! Yeah. I like when you punch him and his wings fly away like that. These guys kind of look like Bigfoot with their pointy head. Zombie Bigfoot. Okay. Altered Beast in this level is a tiger. Shoots this fireball thing that goes all over the place. And you can go up and down like this. I hate those green guys, they're the worst. They grab onto you and take a bunch of your health. Got rid of him. Come on, Neff. Face me! Here he is. This boss is called the Crocodile Worm. Gotta dodge all this stuff. That didn't work. Let's see. That dragon, that tiny dragon enemy, is a small version of the altered beast dragon from a previous level. Oops. Looks like if you kill him, he just comes back immediately. Oh, it's at a different level, though. This guy's tough. He's got a stomach that's, like, molten. Shooting fireballs at me. They made some sequels to Altered Beast. Well, actually, they made yeah, they made a sequel for Game Boy Advance a few years ago. Wait until Neff runs away here. This takes forever. This level was not in the arcade version. This is a Nintendo exclusive level. And those flying pink guys are really tough. Like, they will devastate you if they hit you. Take most of your life. Kind of ganging up on me here. There we go. So they did make some sequels to the original Altered Beast. They made one for Game Boy Advance, and the subtitle was Guardian of the Realms. You get to play through a bunch of new levels and play as different beasts. It's pretty fun. It doesn't have the same charm as the original Altered Beast, but uh, it's, it's still a fun game. It's, it's similar. It's a beat-em-up. Like this. 
And they made another one for PS2 called Project Altered Beast. But it was only released in Japan, unfortunately. I don't know much about it. I think it's set in modern times. I don't think it's connected to the original story at all. The Altered Beast in this level looks like a griffin. It resembles that dragon from the previous level, but he has a beak, I think. Alright, now, here we go. Here we go. I remember this. The boss is this purple Satan. You have to shoot him in his weird bulbous scrotum. He's constantly shooting stuff at you from his mouth. And this lightning is also coming down all the time. And it's hard to get away from everything. I just don't have the mobility. Oop. Nah, I'm doing it. If you can get the lightning to come down over here and get out of its way like this, it's pretty easy to dodge the other stuff he throws at you. Mostly. When you, when you fire at him, you have to stop for a second. You're stuck for a second. If you just time it right, it's not that bad. Shooting Satan in his weird pulsating sack. His weird scrotum. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too tough. He thought he was all that, but he was not too tough. Okay, one more level. I have to defeat Neff one more time, and then I will save Athena for Zeus. It's the same thing every time. Go away. This level is included in the arcade game. This is the final stage. Stage 8 on the Nest port. Get to fight Goatman. And Purple Unicorns. They are hard to dodge because they jump all over the place. If you look in the background there, you can see the scream. I remember that was in the arcade version, too. They just put them in the foreground. I think the kick has a little more reach. It seems safer to use the kick than trying to punch these guys. Too many... Too many unicorns! That guy has some kind of arm cannon, I don't know what that's about. And the altered beast in this stage is... The Gold Werewolf. It's essentially a rehash of the werewolf from the first level. Except, the stuff's all blue instead of... What is it in the first level? Like, orange? Like, fire? Almost to Neff. Get to face off with Neff's final form. Save Athena. Is Neff a real Greek or Roman deity? I know Zeus and Athena are, but I've never heard of Zeph before. Welcome to your home. Gotta time it right. Shoots high, then low. Whoop! Got to double jump just the right time. And then shoot at the right time to hit him, too. As you can see... Oh! It's really hard to time it right. Kinda. I'm just not that good. In the arcade version... The final boss is not like this. He's a, he's a rhino. Neff turns into this humanoid rhino and runs around. And he's really hard to kill. He turns all purple and just kicks your ass. Get down to the wire here. Gotta do it. Yes! That was close. That was close. Neff explodes in a bunch of smoke. And Athena is rescued. 
Yeah, you die now. Did he turn into a bird? I think that bird is Athena, yeah. Nice celebratory ending music. Bird turned into Athena. She's like, some weird dog guy saved me. Thanks, I guess. He's not gonna get any looking like a dog like that. Hopefully Zeus makes him human again. I like that they added three levels. They added more from the arcade game, made it a little longer. Waiting to see if anything happens here. Special thanks, people. The game thanks you. Nothing's happening. A lot of people made this game. Here we go. Here's some cutscene. He's kind of speed walking, and Athena's following him. I'd be reluctant to follow a werewolf, but I guess she knows he saved her, so... She trusts him. There's Zeus. It's gotta be Zeus. Here's your daughter back. Do I get anything? Like, are you gonna give me some money, or...? It's kinda sexual. What is going on here? They're at the movies. I didn't know what that was at first. They're at the movies. What? <laughs> what was that about? I thought it was just like the curtain closing on the game, and then you could see them in the seats in the front row. They were at the movies. And then it just cuts off there. I don't know what happened. Okay, so that is Altered Beast from Nintendo. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.